Welcome back to Music Teacher Reacts, where I can assure you that the space bar won't cause any physical injury or harm to you. That being said, if you're new here, welcome. If you saw my other ginger reaction analysis on Pisces, thank you. And thank you for your comments. I see every single comment that comes through. I was overwhelmed by the amount of comments that I got from Pisces. Thank you so much. There were some amazingly awesome people who gave some beautiful constructive feedback. There were some excellent haters, which really warmed my heart because they took the time to give me a comment and their thoughts about my video. And I take everything as constructive, even if it's phrased rudely, I don't mind. So thank you for giving me the time of watching my video and not just that commenting. Thank you. I was absolutely blown away by Tatiana's voice, not just Tatiana, the, the whole band in general. Teacher Teacher is on the list. It's up now. So pressing play now. I do have the lyrics handy as well. Sorry, just turned down the gain on my mic. I'm just looking over in that direction because that's where I have the lyrics in case I'm not really understanding because I really want to know what's going on and I know Tatiana's going to go into her growls and I need to make sure that I know what's happening with the lyrics at that point as well. I love this intro. It's it's heavy, which is fine. So I, I don't know. We'll just keep going, see what's going on. Control, make your first foul. This is my duty. I'm listening now, the vocals are not taking me by huge surprise, but her shift between cleans and distorted are brilliant. I'm just listening to some of the rhythmic aspects in that, and there's a lot of syncopation happening, so notes falling on the offbeat, especially through a lot of the heavy accents on the snare drum as well, which really make for an interesting, I assume this is the verse, and I'm trying to read the lyrics at the same time as well. Oh my God. She pointed finger at me and then she said Dear Lord, forgive me as I'm slapping, slapping, slapping this simple child By your head I'm back so I will show, show What is wrong and what is right Yes, the way, the way that she's switching it, it just does such a justice to the interest of the song because you have one clean kind of vocal tone color versus this distorted growling tone color and switching between the two really, really creates interest. And I just want to, and I assume that she's, the composition calls for this kind of vocal tone on specific lyrics to enhance whatever meaning is being put forward, which I'm trying to sort out at this point. I love the use of silence on there as well, because Compositionally, you could have just gone straight into that next verse and great, would have sounded excellent. But silence, and I say this in so many other videos, is just as important as sound. And without silence, you can't have sound. I love these lyrics. This is, 
relatable to an extent because I'm not sure if this is like a protest song akin to Pink Floyd, but let's face it, when you're in primary school, when you're in much, much younger years of school, you're kind of taught to really obey teachers or else. And most of the time what teachers say and do are rational. However, there are those little times where they're not. And it is important to be able to decipher the difference between that. I'm feeling lyrically here, there's a lot of biblical connotations as well, especially in the first section, but here as well. Meet my friend Pharaoh who will punish you. So it's, it is quite interesting. And I'm, I'm somebody who really struggles with lyrics as well. And especially when you have these kinds of vocals, cleans and distorted, it makes it hard to understand what's going on with the distorted vocals. I love that chorus. I really love that chorus. No, I'm stopping a lot. I'm so sorry. I'm stopping a lot because I'm just, I'm trying to give my thoughts. I'm always going to go back. This kind of rhythmic rhythm in the vocals is very, I know it's this dotted, da, 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 but it's almost swung. It's almost got this kind of swing feel, but it's not. We can tell from the drum beat, but this is a really catchy chorus. This is an excellent chorus. I love it. And then I compare it back to Pisces where you had your chorus, which was with those distorted vocals. And I love that she's, and her cleans are, and, and I've got to say this again, are really beautiful to listen to. There's just so much complexity in this composition. And I know it's a long one. I'll try not to stop so much. Thank you for being patient. I really love this. I really do. I did mention swing before. It really has a swing feel to it. And I'm listening to the, the drum part as well. And that, that rhythmic kind of interlude between that last chorus and the verse was incredible. It was just this triplet that I don't know. I think he's, I don't know if he's got a double kick or what, but I'm not a drummer, so I don't know technically what you're doing with your foot. But if it's just a single kick, I don't know how he's doing it with such precision, those triplet patterns, there's very quick triplet patterns in the, all in rhythmic unison, in the drums, in the bass, in the guitar, between that verse. That was an incredible, incredible kind of, I guess, interlude. It wasn't a bridge. I'm loving the stops and the silences between sections. Um, that wasn't a full silence, but again, it's a, it's a kind of build happening. I'm just stopping because again, I'm hearing that triplet pattern, which is a really, really big theme within this, which is, which is incredible. It's a very quick triplet pattern. Your lectures start to blare. 
I would like to understand the context of this because I'm not sure if it, I don't know if it's fully talking about school because I don't think it is. I, I'm again thinking Pink Floyd at the same time where you're starting this kind of protest because I see that the audience vocally pretty much doubling up. There's a lot of doubling again in post-production on this to signify that there's more than one vocalist in some areas. And I'm not sure if that, it seems to me the meaning behind this is obviously something that's trying to appeal to the masses or to appeal to authority. But I would love to know again, because I'm, I'm reading every comment and I know somebody knows here. Such a great voice. Trying to get the time signature here. It's gone into a different timing. I'm feeling 6 8. This is what I love about metal as well. It's just not your simple 4 4, simple time. There's just so much complexity rhythmically. This, this, and I, I compare it to Pisces, there's some great rhythmic devices used in Pisces, but this is another level. This is using some extremely quick triplet patterns. I think it's gone into a different time signature, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'll just double check that again in a moment. And compositionally, this is a lot longer, but there's just so much happening and I love this clear structure. Now, I know all songs have some kind of structure, whether they be through composer, whether they be verse, chorus, verse, chorus, or, or whatever. But the unifying features, again, between these are, there's this amazing melody within the chorus in her clean vocals and it, it is a really, the, the way that it's a really good feeling when it comes back because it, it really unifies this piece of music. And I know it's moved off into an interesting kind of different section here, whether this is like a bridge and I'm interested to see what's going on because we're at about three quarters through. I've got a little bit left and I really hope that's not the end of the song. What an insane section. That was that was really actually beautiful. We've gone to a different time. We've got a completely new melodic material. The bassist is doing some crazy stuff rhythmically. It's complex and her vocals are just perfect. They're just, they're, they're sweet. Those lovely kind of glissando ascending vocal slides where she's hitting a note, holding it. The note is not part of the harmony or the chord and she's very ever so slightly sliding up to that. I know many other vocalists do it, but she's got such a beautiful vocal tone and that needs to be mentioned. 
I really want there to be more and I really don't want this to be the end. I love it because you're sitting there watching. I'm like, oh, I don't want this to be the end. <laughs> I don't want this to be the end. You're like, yeah, yeah, it's not the end. This is why I need the headphones up because you cannot listen to it at a soft volume. Don't, I don't know the meaning behind this song. I don't think it's linked specifically to school. However, it's using this medium and understanding of an authoritarian figure trying to control thoughts and trying to tell you what to think. To me, that sounds like government. However, I would love to know, please leave a comment down below regarding that. I can't, I can't even. I'm sorry for making you wait so long if you subscribed from Pisces because this was an amazing, this was seriously awesome. I didn't know what to expect on this. The chorus was sweet. The growls were really, really well placed, not overdone, not overpowering, not so constant that we couldn't understand what was going on in the song and with the lyrics and that last section was it was absolutely incredible it was it was so different it was so far removed from the piece of music that silence and then that explosion at the end which caught me by surprise thank you to all the people who recommended this as i said before i see everything i'm looking at your comments all the time and I really do appreciate your engagement, whether it's positive or negative. If it's positive, thank you. I actually keep a lot of the nice positive comments for me and, and I look back at it. And if they're hater comments, I keep them too. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Until next time.